Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is part two of me at haul me bargains from Christmas. Right then. So this you might think I've got loads of money, well I haven't. I just got quite a few bargains over Christmas and I had run out of a lot of paint so I didn't need it. So anyway, this is um Art has uh, 24 unique colours, permanent, washer and dry safe, non-toxic, 24 colours, fabric paint premium, 24 times 2 fluid ounces, 60 mils. Um, I got this fabric paint because I've been getting into um, painting faces on fabric for uh, art dolls. And I did try some cheaper paint, but... It was quite a disaster. I'd um, painted the face. I should have done the test first, which I didn't. Painted the face, blah, 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 blah. Finished it and it was really good. And um, I don't know. I spilled something on it. I think it was cork or something. Anyway, it just went all mushy and not very good. So there we go. So I thought I'd get some decent ones. And these were highly recommended. And I have seen a few tutorials of it and it looks pretty good so i thought i'd get some anyway as you can see i've opened it um there's the colors on the front but you won't know the true color unless you swatch them yourself wow look at that color anyway I'll just quickly go through um Amethyst Purple P13. Um, I'm not really fussed on purple, but it looks alright. Uh, oh, green. I love green. Forest green. Gorgeous. Do I need to go? Yes. That's much better, isn't it? You had to squint before. Um... Yellow, oh, I like that as well. Fluorescent yellow. Grab blue out. Sky blue, that's a blue. Oh, is this a... Mm. Fluorescent pink, not my favourite colour. Let's see. Oh, it's like a sap green, a lime green. Yes, very nice. And what's this one? Light gold. Oh, I'll just take my glasses off for this. I think it's got like a sheen in it. Oh, yes. It's like, I don't know if you can see. Looks like it's got like a glittery sheen in it. Oh, that'll be interesting to try out. So, that's them. But, it's not a review video because... I haven't used them, so I'll use them for a few months first on uh, different fabrics and for different projects. And then I'll be able to give you a review, well, on what I think of them, my personal opinion. That's them. These, I was really, really excited about these and I've wanted them for absolutely ages. Um... They're not just normal paints, they're, um, how can I describe it, um, bumpy paints, um, yes, uh, I'll just look at the box, there's the colours, 60, yes, um, what size are the bottles, 29 uh, mil. Um, one flower down, 60 of them. Um, how could I describe it? Bumpy paints. Yeah, so where I got these for, um, I was going to make a dragon. And the scales on the dragon, um, if you just paint it on fabric, it just looks painted on. But if you use this paint and you put it along, it goes on and then it raises. So the scales on the dragon would be raised and it would look more realistic. Oh, I was going to make a... A fabric mushroom and the top of it where you put those you know the white 
flake things, I don't know what to call them. And I was going to like dab um, just a bit of white on it with this. And it would be raised and it would just look more 3D. And I was really excited about getting these. I've got quite a lot of um, projects uh, that I want to try using this. So, put my glasses on again. Let's see. So, 60 unique colours, permanent, non-toxic, includes 6 extra tips. Um, yes, me. Ziggy, me cat, is creeping along watching. And I hope you don't jump on me, Ziggy. Right, so... Suitable for jeans, t-shirts, tennis shoes, backpacks, jackets, sweatshirts and more. Um, and what's this? I'll take these off again. Yeah. Supposed to be bifocals and I can't see with the glasses. Um, 3D fabric paint is available in a variety of sets and colours. Please visit Arteza for more information. And these are it's in the box, isn't it? Let's see... These are, oh, what's these? I'm just uh, thinking the camera out again. Uh, let's see. Right. Oh, the, I just thought they were um, spare lids. But they're all different shapes. I'll have to zoom you in again so you can see. Yes, can you see? They've got, um, oh, sorry if I, uh, you think I'm a bit, um, airman and airman, but I'm using my phone and text message keep popping up. Does your head in? Right then, so this is a, a shape, <laughs> obviously. Um, that's like what you get on glue. You know, so I suppose you go along a line. Uh, yeah, so different shapes. You get like a, a centimetre line, I suppose, when you go along. Can you see? Where is he? I didn't know about these, so it's so new to me. Right, yeah. So what's this? That's another. Oh, this is a strange. I suppose it's for like when you're doing pictures of, like a mandala here. All different shapes and designs. Well, that's a twin tip one. Um, oh, that's got three nozzles on it. Oh, quite interesting, that. I might try something like that anyway. Right, that's them. And there's some more. They're just the same. Right. Get into their colours now. Oh, do they look cool? Right, let's see. Oh, look. It's like a pen. This is, I've got the seal on it. Yes. Oh, yeah, I like that. Use it like a pen. Chunky, I like that. Yeah, so it's much better than where you normally pour paint out and use your paintbrush or your fingers. That's a... Uh, Really, a really good applicator, that. Quite like that. It would be a lot easier to use. Right, I'll just see. No. It's only got two focuses on this phone. Um, it says, Art has a premium, one fluid ounce, 29ml. 3D fabric paint, rose pink. Not my favourite colour again, but that's like a muted pink, so that's fine. Oh, yes, I really like that. It's easy to take the lid off. The that's hard plastic. The lid. Oh, very good. Let's see some more colours. Um, they all look like pastely shades, but ooh, fluorescent pink. But I suppose you can mix it. Blue. What was that? Something rolled. Oh, did I lose one of them lids? Um, what colour is this? Blueberry blue. Oh yes, I like that. Um, is there any green? Yes. But it's a uh, fluorescent green. What's this? A yellow. 
mid yellow, quite like that. Oh, loads of colours. What's this? Red glitter. Oh, glitter. Very messy, but I do like that colour. Red glitter. And then there's the number underneath. Let's uh, have a look. Another colour here. Here's another red. Rose Madder. So that's them. Quite looking forward to using them. I'll put them away now. So I got some um, fabric pens, Arteza fabric pens. By the way, um, obviously, they don't pay me to... Well, I'm not reviewing them, so I'm just showing you what I've got. But I'm nowhere connected to Arteza at all. Uh, so I got these fabric pens. I haven't got the box because I put them straight in this case here. But I should have kept the uh, box for future reference, I guess. But, you know, plastic, you just want to... When you get it in packaging, you just want to recycle it as soon as possible. I don't like having, like, plastic around. So, let's see, can I... No. Got it right. So, it says... Permanent fabric marker, Arteza. These are really good for um, finer details when I'm doing eyes and things. Um, I doesn't tell you, but I'm sure you can guess this is a thicker tip. Can you see? Thicker tip there. But I really you only use these for like marking the lines and stuff and like the paint and that for the larger, broader areas. And that's like a line a bit. Remind me of the old fashioned um, felt tips we had as kids. Um, so as you can see the cap is a great deal lighter than the colour, the tip of the pen. I mean it probably looks lighter to you uh, on the camera but it's very dark from where I'm looking. Um, so I've got 30 of these. Um, as you can see, there's all the colours. Very vibrant. Um, so, yeah, there's not a lot I can say about them, but I do like them and I have used them on several occasions. I'll just tell you what's... Take my glasses off again. What's on the back? Um, it just says... Come, oh, some details, blah, 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 and chuck it in the bin. Not very much. Doesn't tell you about light fastness or anything, just boring details. Anyway, uh, the barrel of this is pretty light. It's round, so yes, I'm always losing them on the floor. There's not a lot you can say about these. I mean, black barrel, yes, it's quite nice, and the colours are quite nice on the lids. Not much you can say about them. Right, this is the last one, a uh, big lump of wood, you may ask. Um, it's actually an easel, an art box. Um, I have got an easel which my parents bought me um, a few years back now. It's a um, tabletop one, and I've used that quite a few times. But the reason why I got this is because it was half price, and you got loads of paints with it. And it's got a built-in easel, and it's got drawers, and it's just handy to store stuff. So, I'll just show you. Right. Oh, it's everything moving inside. So, you can uh, store it this way on. I won't go fully, just in case I mess everything up. Um, but I'll store it this way. Um, it's got a full leather hardware and strap. And it's got, am I zoomed out enough? Let's say, oh, that's too close. Yes. So, I might have to do it side on. Um, the art has a logo at the bottom and it's treated wood. I've got a thing about uh, raw, untreated wood. Oh, I can't touch it. It gives me the heebie-jeebie. So, I was very pleased to find out this has been treated. It's like waxed. Let's turn it around. So, I can do it, and there, right, yeah, right, let's see, oh, that's, uh, I got 
Um, what is it? Titanium white. 120 mil. What's that say? It doesn't say fluid ounces. It just says fluid ounces. Is it 4.06 fluid ounces? Titanium white. I've got this in the box. You always need white. Um, I won't go into the boring details at the back. Um, the three stars, that's the light fastness. Um, and that's the number. No, you can see about that much. Yes, so let's see. I can't um, zoom out enough. Anyway, so there's no point me fixing the easel up. Because uh, you won't be able to see it. I can't zoom out enough on my um, phone. But um, uh, you screw... Uh, well, there's no point showing you because you can't see it. So what I suggest you do is go on the Art as a website or on another tutorial. And they'll show you how to fix it up. But I have fixed it up and it's really handy. So I'll just close that. Right, round to the side, open this up, the easy to open up, now this is the drawer, oh, oh yeah, I did not come right out for it does, I got all these paints in it, I'll just push that aside, uh, got all these paints in it, oh god it's just gorgeous. I just love chewed paint. Anyway, it's acrylic colours. Um, should I have a quick count, see how many I got? One, two, three. Okay. I had them all organised, and because I've moved the thing, I've messed them up. Never mind. I haven't got all CD, I just like organisation. Thirty six pins. Um and I do use quite a lot of paints on my art dolls. And I do quite a lot of mixing of colours. I want like an exact colour, an exact shade. But this'll stop me from messing it takes ages and ages to do. Well, this'll stop me messing around. I could just if I want a yellow. There's quite a few different shades of yellow and different shades of colours, so I won't have to mix endlessly to get the colour I want. Yes, yeah, so I'll get on. Um, acrylic colours, 22 mils. Premium Arteza. Um, raw Sienna. It's got three star light fastness. Um, and this is just numbers. Let's get you in there. Just numbers and then A300. I assume that's the colour. Is it got a thingy cap on? Uh, but that, that is a pretty boring colour, but it does come in really handy. Um, what's on the back? Let's see, just the same as all the other uh, products I have. Right, where's my favourite colours? Oh, look at this, gorgeous. I think that's a sap green, let's see. Um, can't see my glasses on. Pale lime green. Oh, gorgeous colour. Yes, I look forward to using them. Oh, gorgeous. I've only actually done uh, one painting. When I first started acrylic painting, I followed a um, YouTube tutorial, Bob Ross. I love Bob Ross. Anyway, I've done one painting and I'm, I'm not really... um. I don't know, I'm not really keen on the uh, painting, like with acrylic, so I just use my paints for my art dolls, but hopefully in the future I'll try another one. I mean, it wasn't uh, brilliant, but I've got it hanging up my bedroom wall, I'm proud of it. That's all that matters. Right then, so I won't shove that one in yet. I forget what's in the bottom. Drop. Right, let's see. Oh yeah. What's in the bottom drawer? It's uh, the part of the easel. I don't know if it's the top, I think it's the bottom, yeah. So I just keep this in the drawer and oh yeah, comes with instructions. Everybody needs instructions, I really need them. 
and it just tells you how to uh, put the easel up on the box. Doesn't take long. I've done it. It was only five minutes. Anyone could do it. If I can do it, anyone can. Yes, and it's just really handy to have your paints and your easel all together. What else did I get? Oh yes, and I got this um, colour wheel. I've already got one, a larger one, but still none the wiser. Still don't know how to use it. I've even watched uh, quite a few tutorials on them, still don't know how to use it. Um, what else did I get with this? I got some acrylic boards, massive they were, I think uh, A3. And I got some um, books, I think a sketchbook, and I got lots, loads and loads of stuff. Um, I can't find them now, I've got them all in cupboards all over me flat. Yes, so that's that. I do love this box, it's very sturdy. I love boxes anyway, but to keep paints in and stuff, it's just amazing. Look at all them paints. Right. I'll have to organise these again later. Right, so I'll put it in there to when the camera's not on. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I'll go now... But, as I say, I'll be using all these products, so in the future, three, four months down the line, I'll tell you how I enjoyed them. And that. So, that's about it. So, I hope you've enjoyed watching. See you, bye!